Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells and welcome back to another Supersize eBay sales video. The items in this video were taken from a thread on my Facebook group. We have once a month where sellers post things that sold for over $100 and tell us where they found them, how much they paid for them, and we can actually look at the listing. Now this thread is getting longer and longer so I'm just randomly picking items to put in these videos. There's way more than I'm showing here. This is just a sample to help educate you on the types of items that sell for a lot of money. And hopefully after watching this video, not only are you slightly entertained, but you'll be a little smarter. So let's get into it. Okay, we've got Ricky who paid $2 at a local church thrift and sold for $280 in just a few weeks. This is the second old HP calculator I have found in a year. So there you see the picture of it. HP 41CX Rare Programmable Vintage Calculator. He turned $2 into $280 in just a few weeks. So add that to your list of things to look for. Okay, we've got Jerry who sold this item for $300. It's a shortwave radio, not working. It was an $8 Goodwill flip. So he sold this in three weeks and it wasn't even working. But if you look at the picture there, he's got the box and the adapter cord and all the uh, instructions and paperwork that came with it. And he says in his condition, for parts not working complete package paperwork invoice cord all original and he also made a little video demonstrating everything that was in the package and if it worked or not so that is allowed you can use uh, a video that you've put on YouTube to demonstrate your item whether it's got music or if it's a toy that lights up and does things or anything that moves or has sound to it or you want to show if it's working or not working you can make a little video and then embed that in your listing I do not have a video on how to do that but I'll put a link to that below this video there's there's some out there on YouTube where people have explained that so bottom line here is this item that didn't even work sold for $300. Okay, we've got George Kelly here. Bought this watch at an estate sale for $150. Accepted a best offer of $325 after a few days. It is a Longines Wittenauer men's dress watch in box. Now, George used to run estate sales so he knows a lot about things just by looking at them he doesn't have to look up a whole lot of things and he does sell more expensive items that's his comfort level if you're new and watching this and this is not your comfort level then don't do it that's all I can say uh, you know, a lot of people have reservations or anxiety of spending that much money on an item to flip and if you're not ready to do it then don't do it yet you've got to work within your own comfort zone to a point you're always wanting to expand and grow but if you're only used to paying five dollars for things it's a big jump to pay 150 for something to flip but he made his money back and then some in a very short time okay we've got KC Vetterly he sold this um, ski binding set. Unique ski binding that sat on my floor for almost 18 months before finally listing. Sold in three days for $150 plus shipping. Can't remember my purchase price but I do remember them being ridiculously cheap in a yard sale bundle purchase. Always bundle. So this is knee carbon downhill ski bindings knee binding. So you ski people will know what this is and he flipped that for over $150. And the lesson here is, he says, sat on my floor for almost 18 months before finally listing. So he knows this, but get these things listed because they can't sell and you can't make money on them unless they are listed. The fun is always in going out and getting stuff to sell, 
but the discipline comes in getting those listings up and if you need help with that check out my virtual assistant service where we can list those items for you uh, there's a process you need to go through to see if we're a good fit for your business but uh, we're helping a lot of people get caught up I think we're doing about 2,000 listings a month now so we're really helping people get caught up on their piles of stuff and we're in May right now so summer's coming people are gonna get busy and that's actually a really good time for us because um, you know while you're on vacation while you're doing other things we can be listing your stuff and you're gonna still make money so check out the link below the video okay we've got Jenny Baum I've been steadily increasing my average sales prices but I couldn't quite get past a hundred dollars for a supersize sale until Friday sold these Lucchese ankle boots for 225 in about two weeks paid seven dollars and 47 cents at Goodwill a big thank you to Suzanne and everyone in this group for your support and guidance on my reseller journey well you're welcome Jenny I'm glad to see that you got that sale over a hundred dollars it can be done I think Jenny started about a year ago so she's a relatively new seller but she has been disciplined and building her business and learning a lot and here's the proof that anybody can do this okay we've got Casey again my bread and butter super size sale keeping the streak alive with a free pickup at the recycling center $109 sale plus buyer paid an extra for overnight shipping so Casey has this place locally that he gets free stuff that people donate to be recycled but he's figured that out it's not any kind of national chain some of you guys have emailed me asking you know where is this place and it's just a little place near him that he knows about and that's um, it's it's not like a goodwill store or anything that they have a bunch of them everywhere so scope out your own community look for things like this places where you can get things cheap that maybe other resellers don't know about Goodwill and Salvation Army and Savers are not the only game in town there's all kinds of places to get stuff to sell okay we've got Janine bought at a kids swim team fundraiser for a few bucks about 10 years ago never used found while doing major cleaning sold to buyer in Australia for $119 plus shipping took about six months to sell this is a speedo fast skin competition body sleeveless suit so it's a, a racing suit for competitive swimming and she said she found it and sold it for over a hundred dollars and shipped to Australia so if you're not shipping internationally you're missing out there okay we've got Jenny again I guess that my store was celebrating its one year anniversary in high style because I had great sales this weekend sold this coat for $238 plus 59 shipping to Russia using pirate ship simple export rate I was able to ship it with insurance added for $40 paid $8 at a local church thrift store this is a Harris Tweed men's top coat size large vintage overcoat so a very well made Harris Tweed coat she got for eight dollars and she sold it for two hundred and thirty eight dollars shipped to Russia another congratulations for Jenny who is a newer seller so if you're watching this and you haven't started yet get started there is no reason to wait that first listing that first sale is always going to be scary whether you do it today or a year from now you just need to do it and get over it because the more days you're not listing is more days you're not making money so I know I get a lot of people who are getting ready to sell on eBay thinking about selling on eBay you just need to jump in and do it just jump off the cliff and do it okay we've got Jamie bought all three refrigerator water filters new and packaged at Goodwill for about eight dollars sold for full price of hundred and thirty five dollars these are Whirlpool pure every drop three filter uh, so the refrigerator filters and this is that kind of weird junk in the back that like what is this I don't know you need to look it up and see what it is but this kind of stuff is very profitable if you start looking for it okay we've got Luann bought sorry paid ten dollars at an estate sale sold for hundred and seventy dollars plus shipping took about a month to sell 
This is a vintage train set. So again, $10 at an estate sale sold for $170 within a month. Nowhere else can you legally make this kind of money with a $10 investment that I know of. I mean, okay, maybe if you're gambling um, or selling drugs, I don't know, but uh, <laughs> that's the key word here, legally. $10 investment sold for $170. And one of the reasons I do these videos is to show you guys what's possible and because these people are already doing it. This could be you several times a month when you get out there and hustle it and try new things and expand your product line have a diverse product line people ask me all the time oh I only want to sell one kind of thing in my store so everything matches and I just like the way it looks well that's commendable if you want to have a nice looking store but if you really want to make money you need to sell anything and everything that is profitable whether it's clothing, sporting goods, breakables, whatever. That's where the money is. And you'll see these successful sellers over time, they sell all kinds of things. Rarely do they only sell in one niche. So if you're looking to really make the big money, you have to push yourself out of the one category you're comfortable with and do all kinds of different things. Okay, we have Wendy. I love vintage travel souvenirs bought at a church sale for a dollar sold for a hundred dollars plus shipping took about three months and these are two little soap dishes from a hotel in London okay so this is the kind of thing that's going to be stacked up with the plates and ashtrays and all that breakable stuff and just mixed in there and she figured it out bought these for a dollar sold for a hundred dollars do a few of those a month and you'll really see your income from this business just go through the roof okay we've got Dawn who got this at Salvation Army for $5.99 sold within a week for full asking price of $179.99 plus shipping this is a caller ID electronic device thing so this is what you might call dead tech but people are still using it so look for those things in the boxes and look them up see what they're worth even if you personally wouldn't use it that's okay somebody might buy it okay Maria bought at Goodwill for two dollars and fifty cents sold for two hundred dollars plus shipping took about two to three months to sell this is a Kugi Australia sweater and these are really easy to spot because they're so crazy and wild and they have that texture looks like strips of fabric sewn together and you want to ship these international because they will go all over the world so two dollars and fifty cents she turned into two hundred dollars in two to three months okay we have Dawn again got at an estate sale for ten dollars sold for hundred and twenty five dollars plus shipping took about five months got full asking price these are some Mitsubishi service repair manuals yeah that's another great thing to sell they don't look like much sitting in a pile at an estate sale or a garage sale but the older they get the more they're going to be worth because people still have these older cars and they need to work on them and they need to figure out um, whatever information is in these books they need that or they might just collect them and they they need them from all the different years so ten dollars sold for 125 okay we've got K got this for free fixed it up and sold for full asking price of two hundred dollars within a couple of days this is a Fender um, let's see Fender Squire Stratocaster Japan body loaded pick guard Okay, so it's like part of a guitar. It's not the whole thing. But she got it for free and sold it for $200 within a couple of days. So again, get those items listed. It could sell within minutes, hours, or days. Okay, Graham sold this morning. Paid $4.99 at a Goodwill. I had it on 10-day auction starting at $179.99 with a buy it now of $249. I was hoping for a bidding war and some excitement and then this guy bought it for the buy it now price it took four days I'll take it 
Luckily, the game was complete and mint. Even I had to piece it out. Oh, even if I had to piece it out, it would have been a nice find. Crazy thing is, I probably walked by it three or four times when I was headed to the cash register. It caught my eye, and it is a Hero Quest game. I've seen this a few times on the Money Making Mondays and Hundred Dollar Sales. This game, 1990 board game, is highly collectible. So Hero Quest, put that in your brain. Okay, we've got Jamie paid three dollars and fifty cents at Goodwill. They were half off, sold for ninety nine ninety seven with free shipping in about a week. A few condition issues, or I would have gotten a lot more. These shoes retail for two seventy nine. These are Z coil shoes, and they have this funky heel on them that actually looks like a Z, and it's a coil. They're very easy to spot. I've never found any, but I know what they look like, and they're easy to spot in that whole sea of shoes where everything looks the same. So she got a hundred bucks for these, paid three dollars and fifty cents. Okay, Judy, free in my husband's closet from twenty years ago. <laughs> Sold after about eight months for six hundred and twenty dollars. This is a Manuel or Manuel men's leather coat. Uh, very vintage looking coat there and six hundred and twenty dollars so all you ladies with men who are clothes horses or clothes hoarders this is when you um run don't walk to the closet and start looking up all their stuff that they don't wear anymore because when they find out it's worth money on ebay they're gonna let it go okay max bought this disney snow globe at goodwill for ten dollars i've had it listed for almost a year Took a best offer of $100 today. There's a piece broken off at the top, so I knew I'd have to sell it for less than it normally would. This is a rare Disneyland teacup ride snow globe. So a few things to point out here. It took almost a year, so some items are going to take a while to sell. You just have to be patient and be confident that they will sell. If you see them selling through on eBay or other sites, you know it'll be your turn eventually. So patience is a virtue also it's broken it's not perfect and she still got a hundred dollars so eBay is not the place for perfectionists get your items listed see what kind of offers you get and go from there don't just immediately think nobody's gonna buy this because it's not perfect because that is not the case okay here we've got Jamie again paid two dollars and thirty eight cents at a local thrift store sold on best offer for a hundred and fifty dollars with free shipping in less than 12 hours. Had offers from three different people. Counter offered 150 to all three and a few minutes later, ka -ching. Almost did not buy it because it looked like a new John Deere hat. Looked on the inside and saw the vintage foam, so I got it. That's what I was gonna ask Jamie was what makes this special because it just looks like a regular old hat, but it is a John Deere mesh trucker hat and NOS means new old stock, which means it's an older item, but it's still brand new with tags on it or in a box or whatever the situation is. And it's a snapback. So again, people are cleaning out, downsizing, moving, moving to retirement communities, assisted living, whatever it is, and all their stuff is ending up in thrift stores. And it's just there for us to pick up and resell. So um, this was interesting to me because I see John Deere stuff all the time, but I didn't realize these older hats went for so much. So $2.38 and she sold it for $150 in less than 12 hours. So get those items listed. Okay, Rachel paid $10 for a huge basket of vintage Barbie and Ken items. This Barbie sold overnight for $250. So if her, her cost might have been like a dollar because she said it was a huge basket. This is a vintage 1965 Ash Blonde Barbie doll bendable. I think I had this in a Money Making Monday video too. That looks familiar or maybe it's another one that she sold out of this, um, this lot that she bought. But anyway, it's worth repeating. One Barbie went for $250. Okay, we've got Amy. 
This is my first time to post something. I've had a hundred dollar plus sales before, but I've been too nervous to share. Well, Amy, don't be too nervous to share. That's what it's here for, is we're all learning from each other and celebrating our great sales. I found this more in Guile's duffel bag at the bins, paid four or five dollars. I accepted a best offer of three hundred and fifty dollars. It took a few weeks to sell. So this looks pretty beat up and vintage and rugged and worn. The brand name is Moore and Giles, or Giles, not sure how you pronounce that, duffel bag. And $4 to $350. And that really looks like something that's been run over by a car. So I wonder, is it must just be the brand is very high end because I've not heard of that brand. So learn something new every day. Okay, Meg, I found this Dooney and Burke watch at my local thrift shop, new and original box. I paid $4. It took a month or so, but sold for $120. So there you can see it is a retired leather, multicolor Dooney and Burke watch. And it was in the original box. I wonder if that was behind the counter or if it was just kind of mixed in with everything. Either way, it was only four dollars and she sold it for 120 so that's a great sale okay we've got Debbie my husband found this at Goodwill for $25 we sold it in less than two weeks for $351 plus shipping it is a clarinet with case so all you musical people who know stuff who would know like if all the pieces were there if they were missing I am not a musical person. I am a musical appreciator, but I do not play an instrument, and all of that's very foreign to me. But this is where you use your expertise to recognize high dollar items because everybody has different experience to draw on and different expertise. So $25 sold for $351. Oops, did that one already. Okay, Melissa. This is a personal item of my husband's. I believe he got it from his grandpa. So we paid nothing, but it looks like someone paid $8.95 at one point from the marking on the box. We decided it was time to part with it. Sold in a few weeks for $150 plus shipping. It is Emergency Life Pack Coast Guard Life Boat Rations. So this has been sitting around for a while. And Melissa did say, she made it very clear in the listing it is collectible only and not meant for consumption because it is really old and I'm sure that the actual food is spoiled and no, not for consumption. This is a display item. Eight ninety five. Oh no, she said it was free because it was her husband's stuff and it sold for $150. Some collector's going to love that. Okay, we've got Diana, paid 25 cents at a local thrift shop. I was standing in line forever to pay, so to kill time, I looked up comps on the magazines on the stand in front of me. This is a first issue magazine from 2007, sold for $144.99. That is a great use of your time, Diana. Gold star for you, using that time in line to be productive. This is a Garden and Gun magazine premiere, first issue, spring of 07. $149, sorry, $144, and she only paid a quarter for it. So, um, <laughs> anything sells. That's amazing. Okay, we've got Jamie, who paid $2 at a small thrift store, sold in three weeks for full price of $99.97. Christian Dior nightgown, Penwah sleepwear robe set. And yes, that vintage lingerie is a good seller. Here's the proof. $2 sold for basically $100 for sleepwear. So if you're not looking through the sleepwear, do that. Also in my premium library, I've got a course. One of my women's clothing courses is all about different categories of women clothing, sleepwear, swimwear, intimates and undergarments, skirts, sweaters, all those broken down so you can see in each subcategory of women's clothing what types of items to look for. So if you're looking to expand your 
knowledge there come check out my premium library the link to that is under the video also and we're going to end here with Brian who paid $75 at an estate sale and sold for best offer of 200 in about two weeks this is a Pendleton Beaver State blanket wool it's a retired blanket and Brian is also one that pays a little bit more for items but as you are in this business longer you will be more confident with that and he more than doubled his money in about two weeks so it's something you have to work up to trust me it takes a while to build that confidence knowing that you're gonna at least get your initial investment back out of these items you can't just stick with three dollar items one dollar items forever if you if you want to really grow your business and grow that profit you're gonna have to invest more money but it comes with time and practice okay so that is it for this episode like I said this is a thread in my Facebook group once a month and there's so much more it's just be way too much to put in a video it would just go on and on and on so it's a great way to learn what sells for uh, over a hundred dollars other people are actually doing it all the links to everything I mentioned is below the video thanks for watching would love your comments and have a profitable and productive day on eBay bye